Welcome everybody back to Crypto Jet, my fellow holders, shillers, and crypto degenerates. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on the best crypto news, insights, and of course, my beautiful voice. Now, let's get straight into the video where today we're going to be covering Litecoin primarily, but I'm going to hit you with a little market recap at the start. So we're sitting at above 2 trillion in market cap. Bitcoin is still the first, Ethereum is still at the second spot. Litecoin is not in the top 10 anymore as it used to be before. Now, a few graphs I was wanting to take a look at is obviously, first of all, the market cap, uh, the global crypto market cap chart, uh, which, as you can see, is nearing the all time high level from, um, you know, a few months back when it was uh, the peak of this uh, bull run of this year so far. Right. I believe we're going to peak once again and uh, we're getting very, very close to the area, as you see today. The market cap actually rose by over 200 billion dollars so quite a crazy amount of money inside crypto another statistic i would like to talk about is bitcoin's dominance uh where we can see that bitcoin's dominance over time is actually in a downtrend because obviously it's not a uh, project that has good fundamental value such as you know ethereum does so ethereum is this dark blue line right here and as you can see it's on a steady rise while bitcoin is on a steady fall. Uh, we like to see this because at some point, Bitcoin will not be the most dominant at uh, it's sitting right now at, you know, 42% dominance. When Bitcoin and Ethereum are both at around 10% dominance, that means that uh, coins in the market will start to move independently of each other, which is what we want to see. So when we don't want to see when Bitcoin's growing, everything else is growing. When Bitcoin's falling, everything else is falling. That's the way it is right now, because there's not enough education in the market. Now, the whole market, the market as a whole is actually moving upwards. We can see Bitcoin broke out with tremendous strength of this uh, bullish correction pattern straight from the FIB levels. But what we're going to be talking about today is actually uh, LTC or Litecoin. Now, we're going to do some chart work in a minute. We've broken out on Litecoin as well. But before we do, let's just have a look at what actually Litecoin is. So their idea is to be a payment system with a very, very low costs, so near zero costs for anyone in the world. Now, they used to be one of the top coins, one of the top three that were out there, but uh, they have since, uh, you know, lost a little bit of respect, lost a little bit of value because I guess they're just not uh, following trends and they're not upgrading their software enough. So there's a lot about the community, a lot of resources about what actually Litecoin is, how it works, uh, source code also available on GitHub for all of you programmers out there. It's open source software, just like Ethereum is, which is very nice to see. Um, the blockchain is capable of handling higher transaction volume than its counterpart, Bitcoin. Well, I don't actually like uh, that they're comparing themselves to Bitcoin because Bitcoin is a slow project to begin with. A few other things here, wallet encryption, mining reward, everybody has that, so it's not too important. You can download some wallets uh, right here. And before we move into the technicals, I want to see two different opinions on Twitter about Litecoin. One is from Mind Matter saying, if you're ever feeling down, just remember there's literally people holding Litecoin. <laughs> Quite a funny one here. But on the other hand, we have another guy right here, Galaxy Trading, who has a different view on the weekly time frame of Litecoin. So we see somewhat of a cup and handle formation. Uh, you know, it's not the most... Uh, nicely drawn it's free-handed but it makes a little bit of sense so let's actually move on to the technicals and see if we can make some sense out of this chart so we had a huge upswing uh very regular ups and downs higher highs higher lows and then retraced very very hard down as as with uh, all the cryptocurrencies actually created a double bottom at this level and then started moving more bullish now if we zoom into this recent area we can see that we've created uh, I don't know what this week is. It's probably a uh, mistake in the broker. So uh, sometimes you see wicks of enormous size and I don't really believe that this uh, represents true information, but it doesn't matter. We're just going to disregard it. So we can see that it's a very nice uh, triangle formation. It's a bullish correction pattern and we've broken out of it. Now, at this point, we can move on to the four hour time frame, and I'll show you why we're looking bullish at this point. So previously, we were making lower lows and lower highs, right? Another lower low, a lower high, lower low, lower high. And uh, this area right here being the last uh, lower high was actually broken out of. So right now, what we can expect the market to do is to create a higher low and then a higher high and then a higher low. 
And that's how a uptrend actually emerges on the lower time frames. Sorry for not drawing this uh, as well as I could have, you know. And then if you have that on the lower time frames, obviously given more time, you will see the same thing happen on higher time frames. So currently we're looking very bullish for Litecoin. I would put my price prediction for this coin as the staff of the actual uh, triangle formation. So this is how you form a minimum price objective. And uh, the minimum price objective would be somewhere around the $260 mark. So about a 80% increase from the current price. Now, that would be it for Litecoin today. I really hope you guys uh, enjoyed the video. Uh, thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe and leave a comment if you have any future video ideas. Until we meet again, hold for dear life. And I'll see you all in the next one. Adios.